I didn't know what to expect when I was invited to a rat-infested warehouse. All my buddy told me was, bring as much air and ammo as you can. So, I loaded up the truck, and off we went. And a few hours later, we arrived. And whatever I was thinking on the way down, well, this place was a thousand times worse. There were rats everywhere. And this isn't your average recycling facility. This place has become the ultimate rat nest. And tonight, we're taking it back. We've got two different 9mm egg unleshy 2s going. My son will primarily be on the thermal, which is the ATN Thor 5 XD, and it's the 4 to 40. Man, this thing is a beast of a rig for a 10-year-old. Get him, buddy. Considering at his age, I had my uh, my 760 Pump Master uh, with some rusty irons. Get him? Yeah, he got him. This night, I'll be rocking the ATN X Site 5 in the uh, 5 to 20x configuration. It's a little too dark for normal glass in here, so the ATNs, man, these things are going to be a huge advantage. This is a massive infestation with rats lurking in every shadow, under every pile of garbage, and every crevice. But to maximize our efforts and, quite frankly, keep them from running over our feet, we need to take the high ground. So. We head to the top of the warehouse where there's these platforms that offer access to the tops of the machinery and coincidentally offer the perfect perch for us to sit and snipe. The length of pull was a little long for him still, but since this is a digital scope, he'd have no issue with parallax. So he adjusted to make it work with his tripod setup. Man, this little guy is a natural though on the trigger. And after a few minutes of getting him to really kind of understand the sector of fire that he was assigned to, he was sniping away. This place is huge, and from our sniper's hide, we had shots ranging from 20 to 75 yards. Footage-wise, uh, the night vision really gives you guys a good look at just how big and gross these rats are. But as you get further away, you can see it's just a bit harder to see them, especially contrasting against the concrete garbage. Uh, this is where the thermal really shines. Uh, but either way, you're going to uh, you're going to slam them in a place like this, and that's exactly what we did. Doubles on rats weren't actually all that uncommon at this place, so here's my first one of the night. That one that was behind actually only made it about two feet before it fell in a bucket down below. And then I found one more right there. While I'm properly unloading my mag here, let me take a quick sec for a cool announcement. The Ridge, a longtime sponsor of the channel, is doing a massive sweepstakes where the winner can get a Hennessy Velociraptor a gold-plated Cybertruck, or $100,000 in cash, now through September 13th. And the best part, you can enter 100% for free. Oh, wait, hold on one second. I see another one coming. Let me smoke this dude. Come on, a little bit more. Oh, I just missed, huh? I put a second one into that guy. Anyways, there are a ton of ways to enter, including for free. But every dollar that you spend on the Ridge website equals one entry. I've had a Ridge wallet in my pocket for years, long before they even approached me to sponsor the channel, and I cannot recommend them enough. So if you're in need of a great wallet like this cool Cybertruck theme one that I'm rocking now, then head on over to ridge.com forward slash Egonleshi and check out not only their badass wallets, but all this other great EDC gear that they got. So big thanks to the Ridge for sponsoring the channel. Now, let's get back to these rats. I'm not sure OSHA would approve of this, but we must have killed a hundred of them within a few inches of that fire extinguisher. Just behind it was a hole that allowed, well, it really just kind of gave easy access to navigate that retaining wall, holding back that huge pile of garbage.
this was another hot spot. Those milk crates, man, these things were overflowing by the end of the night as they just kept dropping right in there as we would smoke them. I had to take a piss, so I headed down to the break room armed with a thermal setup where I was able to get these big boys. Uh, and then I, right after I got these guys, I was able to kind of flank the others which were on a different side of that trash pile from where we were shooting before. So there is zero chance I'd ever walk around this place and not be armed with some sort of weapon. These poor bastards that gotta work at this place, man, these guys deserve a raise. This was my son's first experience shooting critters and I was incredibly proud of not just his shooting, uh, but his willingness to absorb the knowledge my friends and I were kind of passing along to him. Safety, tactics, and of course, some good old locker room kind of banter between buddies. And as I told him on the drive home, there's no such thing as bad words, just bad timing. So when your mom asks how it went, just tell her, uh, well, why don't you leave out some of the details? I shot this one off the wall above, and then my son, well, he decided it needed one more. The new ATN Thor 5 HD, man, this thing handled the humidity inside this place so well. Look at how clear this footage is. We had been concentrating on the back, kind of further into the warehouse for so long. Well, I looked down below us and there were within 15 yards, just hundreds of these things. So I grabbed uh, the Leshy 2 9 mil with the night vision on top and I just went to work. With a 9 mil, you could basically hit a rat anywhere. So this guy got the old Texas heart shot. And this one was a little bit more traditional for this channel, right to the dome. To give my eyes a break from the night vision, I actually swapped out and put another Thor 5 on mine and just mag dumped into this trash pile and this is where the semi-auto leshy 2 platform really shines because without question there is no better air gun on the planet for this i had about four plus hours of footage from this trip and i edited it down to about 30 minutes or so so i'm gonna break this up into a two-part video let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this rad series should i go back Maybe should I bring a table for one? I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. If you like seeing backyard bully dirt naps, you're probably gonna wanna watch this video next.